and you capture a moment with him with in his interview, right? Yeah, with Michael. It was really cool and a very eclectic mix. You had everybody from uh, Zumba instructors to fishermen and even CEOs. The, the whole mix here. Check it out. I love telling people stories uh, by photographing what they do for work. Michael Fiedler is a former Navy photojournalist. He's continuing his passion for photography and storytelling in his new book, The Working Journal. I try to find people that are passionate about their work and people that look good visually doing what they do. If you look at my pictures, one thing I'm always looking at people's eyes and their hands. I'm Italian, I talk with my hands a lot, obviously. <laughs> so in my photographs, I'm always looking for people that, that have an interesting visual impact when they're, when they're doing their work. The book features 60 beautiful stills and handwritten reflections from the subjects. You can learn about a person's personality by the way they form their letters and the way they write. So having people go through that process uh, is very interesting to me. From circus jugglers to orchestra conductors, boxers, and even architects, like New York's own George Rinaldi. We've been in practice in New York City for more than 40 years, and uh, we began our practice in the urban setting of New York City, and we're very interested in the issues of sustainability as they evolved in architecture at that time. And The Working Journal isn't the only book that George has been featured in. He's been praised as the pioneer of loft living in hundreds of publications. It was very fashionable to tear down old buildings and, and build everything new and it didn't make sense to me. Rinaldi expounds upon this in his written excerpt of the Working Journal. In search of an alternative perspective on architecture, I began to notice the untapped potential in urban factory districts and other older buildings. I decided to try to reuse some of these buildings for new purposes. We often get so caught up in our jobs that we forget to take time to really appreciate why we do what we do. Michael's photography and the ability to write that down was a way to reflect on things you don't generally reflect on all the time. And you could stop, take a breath, uh, and look back at, at why you do what you do. So it was a fascinating process. I just like recognizing <laughs> and taking pictures of all the little ways that people contribute to uh, our world. So it's a beautiful... You can learn a little bit more information online at working-journal.com. And it prompts the question, we, we get so caught up in what we do every day. And ladies, for you, I'm sure that sometimes you forget to stop and think, oh, I, I really enjoy what I do or, oh, yeah. or I don't. I mean, depending on, of course. on the job. I love so. what, I, what yeah. we do, I'm grateful right? every single morning. That's, yeah. you know, the first two words in my brain that I yeah. try. Thank you. Thank mm. you. That's that's a nice outlook. Mm. On, yeah, on someone told me day. I need to, like, when I put my feet down out of the bed, it's another thank day. Thank you. I like that. It sets the tone. It does. Day. From, from here Being on grateful. out. I'm going to wake up and say, thank you, Rosanna. That's, that's going to be go. it. Make it three words. Right. And Everyone throw Lori, too. And, 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 Why not? Keep me four. out of it. <laughs> <laughs>